I do think for you to still be his wife right now, and y'all didn't even begin the process of divorce, and he's currently in the home, that is disrespectful. Okay. Um, and I think that your energy, if you don't want to be married to him anymore, that's cool too. Like, you don't want to be married. I don't know what y'all situation is, but you should focus on that before you look for another man because you're going to cause, I don't know your husband. I don't know if he got a crazy switch. You know, I don't know if he's the kind of man that ain't never been crazy, but something like this can make a man crazy. Does he pay all the bills? In your What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Okay, so I'm back. Calm vibes, and I'm JP. Now, I ran across this. I meant to do a video on this a while back. Um, I had to take a lot of personal stuff, so I'm behind them big time. So I'm gonna be dropping videos back to back, probably twice a week. So make sure you hit that notification, and get these videos. Now, this one is Kendra G. You know, she has the live IG show, um, the matchmaking. You know all these women out here that need help finding somebody okay so she gets this girl that comes on her show and goes off the young lady comes on the show looking for a man and is married and living with the man I shit you not you got to see this and I don't want to give it away. I'm just going to tell you that much. But um, Kendra G let her ass have it. So before we jump right into it, make sure you go hit that subscribe button, that like button, and make sure you comment at the end on what you think about this. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. All right. So no further ado, let's get this cracking. But foolery at its best. Hey, girl. Hi. Can you wipe your screen? All right. And then can you move? Oh, okay. Can you bring the phone down? Can you give me better light? It's foggy to me. Can you get better light? Can you, like, go to an area with better light? Um, um I don't have none, nothing else to go to. Sorry. You live by yourself? Mm -mm. Who do you, oh, you live with your parents? My kids. I live with your kids. Can you go to the bathroom? No, they're in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, your kids are in the bathroom. Okay. What's your name? Monique. Monique, where are you calling us from? New Jersey. So you can't go nowhere else in your place? Um, I called back. No, I'm just curious why. So this is the only location in your whole... You live in an apartment? Mm hmm So this is the only location in the whole apartment that you can't you can't go to? I mean you can you can go to? Right now, yes. Okay. Um, all right, let's continue. Monique in New Jersey, how old are you? Monique in New Jersey, how old are you? Thirty eight. Huh? Thirty eight. Thirty eight. What do you do for a living? Teacher. Teacher. When's your birthday? June twenty seventh. That's a cancer? Mm -hmm. You mentioned kids. How many kids do you have? Two. Two kids. How old are your kids? Five and nine. Five and nine. Same guy? Mm-hmm. Same man. Why are you not with him? Long story. Long story? Now, I had to stop it real quick. Kendra G knows something's up. You, you can tell how... You notice how the girl's answering the questions? You know, she's like, mm hmm, yeah. Like she's trying not to talk too loud. And then when she asks her, what well, she just asked, just think about what she just asked her now. Are you still with him? Why are you not with him? She didn't say, oh, we're still together or anything. She didn't say nothing. So I think she was under the impression that Kendra G wasn't going to ask if she was, you know, with somebody still. She had to think that. She had to. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. This is Monique, New Jersey, 38. Two kids is a teacher, also a cancer. Um, let's get to it. What kind of man are you looking for? Um, somebody that's 
somebody who's very intelligent, um, somebody who has a good head on his shoulders, and just very, uh, mm, that's pretty much it. Okay. Any deal breakers? Um, smoker, smoking and um, a high head, like I can't deal with that. Okay. Does he have to be in New Jersey? Um, New York, New Jersey. Okay. Uh, this is Monique, New Jersey, 38, is a teacher, two kids, is a cancer. What's the age range you want to date? Like, like 30, my, my age and like up to like 45, I would say. Okay. 38 to 45. Do you want more kids? No. No. Can he have kids? Mm -hmm. Yes. He doesn't mind. Um. Do you have an appearance requirement? Do you want them to look a certain way? Can you turn off the comments, please? Because I think that they're going to, like... I can. Get... That is something that you guys can always request. I don't say it often enough. But if you want the comments off, we can turn the comments off. So you guys will be in comment jail while I'm talking to Monique. But you'll be able to return when I'm doing <laughs> right again. When was your last relationship? Um, Marriage? Well, I'm actually still married, but... I'm looking to like not be with him anymore. If, but okay, just curious. I'm just curious. So you're currently married right now. Mm -hmm. Do you live with your husband still? Yes. Okay. Is that why you can't go to another place in in your house? Because is your husband in the house right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you guys separated? Does he know y'all not together? <sighs> Yes, he knows, but it's like he's trying to like still like work on it, and it's like it's not working for me. And you guys, so are you guys um, separated, divorced, or are you like? Is there any on the way to on the way to separation so, and, and separation so, and, and divorce? Yeah. So you haven't even you haven't even begun the process of separation yet. Not right now, no. So you know this is on the internet, and your husband's gonna see this, you guys. Um, separated, divorced, or are you like, is there any on the way to on the way to separation so, and, and divorce? Yeah. So you haven't even you have any process of separation yet? Not right now, no. So you know this is on the internet, and your husband's gonna see this. You don't care. <sighs> it's a, it's a so it's like so much that is involved that I can't really like. Like, he knows. He knows a lot about what I'm dealing with and why it is what it is. But I'm not, you know, so I'm not, like, scared about that. I'm just. Just out of, out of sincere concern, are you safe? Are you in a situation that's not safe for you? Are you safe? I'm, yeah, I am. You are mm -hmm. safe. So, mm -hmm. so you are married. You haven't began the process of divorce yet. Your husband is in the home right now as you're talking to me looking for a new guy. Y'all live together. So you answer this question. What man you think crazy enough going to date you right now with all that going on, girl? Well, I mean, I don't need somebody right now. Like, I need somebody so, so bad right now. Like, no, I'm not, like, trying to, like, gravitate, gravitate to somebody right now. I'm just saying that I just, you know, I'm just looking at some point, you know? So when you begin, do you plan on moving out your home? Like, what is the dynamic going to be? Because if you met a guy, I mean, technically you're married and you told me you haven't even began the process of separation. So you're not even separated. You are a married woman living with your husband. So what space can a new man even have in that? Like you are a whole wife. Yes. Um, I mean, like I said, I'm not like trying to like get involved with somebody so, so quickly. So ready. Like, I'm not saying I'm ready right, right this sec second, but well, you I mean, know my show is a single show, right? And it's people come up here looking for love. I mean, potentially what you're doing is you come on my show to put yourself out there. If someone is viewing they and they like you, they can DM you. So I've had women before on the show that were separated, right? And, and we have this conversation all the time with people that are separated. But you're not even separated. You're married. And you live with your husband. So when are you going to begin the divorce? Um, I mean, like I have a lawyer, a lawyer already that's 
you know, she's looking into like all the things that she needs to do for me. And, you know, it's going to process, you know, it's going to take a process, but it's just going to be what it is. I mean, have you been dating since you've been married? Mm -mm, no. So you haven't dated anyone since you're married, mm -mm. but you're willing to spark up a friendship that could lead to that while you're married. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. Is your husband currently dating other women? Um, no. Mm -mm. So, Monique, girl, I love you. I think you're beautiful. I wanted to tell you that earlier. You're very naturally beautiful. You got to handle your business. You, you, I don't know. I don't know your marital dynamics, right? I don't, but it is very. Like, it's a lot. It's a lot of like, I, I think I need like counts, counseling or something. Cause it's not about like, just like something that I could just express online. You know what I'm saying? I need somebody to like. Well, you can't online. I understand that. But you know, this is an online show. We have a lot of viewers. This is a massive platform, whether you realize it or not, but. That is a bold move to be living, to be a wife, for one, to still be living with your husband, for one, for him to currently be in the house, for three, as you're on a show, putting yourself out there to meet another man. That's absolutely crazy. And very disrespectful. And I don't know the dynamics. That's why I asked you, are you safe? Because I do have a concern, but you're telling me that you're safe. So mm -hmm. that's, that is a, and again, y'all, I ain't no relationship expert. I ain't no, I ain't none of that. I'm not a love coach. I, I'm a professional host that hosts a dating show. So your safety is important to me. But if you are safe and not in danger, I'm going to call it like it is. That's, this is some trifling shit. Because if you was a man on this show that had a wife somewhere in the house that you were living with and you didn't begin the, the divorce process yet, I would rip him to shreds. I would be like, how are you on my show looking for a new woman when the woman you're married to, who you didn't begin the, the process of divorce with yet, is currently in the home? That's crazy. So I just got to be honest with you. I think that is so disrespectful. And I think you need to focus on the process of getting a divorce. You can do whatever you want to do in your life. But I think for this platform, I cannot put you out there, girl. Like, you got to handle that. I don't think it's safe for anyone. I don't know who your husband is. And, you know, I, I God forbid he don't snap when he see this. Because he going to see it. So I think if, if divorce is what you desire, you need to figure that out. Because I don't want you to be in anything, you know, dangerous. And you're telling me, like, your husband doesn't put his hands on you, right? Like, that's not... Oh, no. Mm -mm. Okay, mm, nothing like that. Mm -mm. None of that. There's no domestic violence going on? No. Mm -mm. So you trifling. Now, what the f do y'all think of this? Who would go on a dating show for singles and you're married, your husband is still in the house, you hadn't even started the process of divorce or separation, and you trying to get a hookup to carry you through until... You separate from your husband, so you have a guy waiting on you. What what a freak did that that what that happens at? Now the funny thing is, when Kendra told she's trifling, I want y'all to check this out. It's coming up her expression and how emotionally hurt she's supposed to be, cause she called her trifling, and your ass is trifling. And, and yeah, and you do gonna see this shit and flip. But you just gave him a lot of ammo to win his divorce in his favor. You did. You went on there and said you're looking for a man with all these qualities and no, um, no smoking and no attitude, whatever. You're looking for somebody. But check this out, man. Check this out. This is some crazy shit. Mm -mm. None of that. There's, there's no domestic violence going on. No. Mm -mm. None of that. There's, there's no domestic violence going on. No. Mm -mm. So you trifling? Mm, I mean, why do you think? No, you're no, no. no I'm, I'm, it's not that think, at all. Tell me why you think you're not trifling right now. I mean, do you know? Do you know me to say that I'm tri trifling? Like, I know not... that you're married. I know that the man you're married to is in the home. I know that you're sneaking because you couldn't even move around. So I don't know you at all, but you, you're married. Well, 
the reason why I'm not going to in the in the home and just like walking around the home is because that would be disrespectful. You being on my show is disrespectful. You married to somebody. Mm -hmm. You don't think that having a husband in the house that you're in, being on a show looking for a new man is disrespectful? It, from the outside you're looking in, sure. It looks like that, but it's not what you think, you know? And I just would like you to not like be that that like nasty to me, you know? Because well, 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 no, I'm not being nasty. I'm being direct, okay? Because and honestly, if you were a guy, because I have been on the show, and before any woman tries to stick up for her, I had three men on the show so far. They weren't even married. They were just in relationships looking for women, and the women walked, um, walked in during their lives, and the women were like, this man is trifling. Why would he do that if he has a girl? And he wasn't even a husband. So to be honest, I'm being, I'm not being that hard on you. Like I probably would be worse if you were a man, to be honest, but I got to give you real talk. I got to give you real talk. And, and if you're assuring me that you're not in a domestic violence situation, that's why I said, are you in a safe space? Cause that's important. But you're telling me that's nothing the case at all. So all I know is for whatever reason, y'all getting divorced and that's cool too. I'm not in your marriage. I don't know why you're getting divorced, but I do think, for you to still be his wife right now, and y'all didn't even begin the process of divorce, and he's currently in the home, that is disrespectful. Okay. Um, and I think that your energy, if you don't want to be married to him anymore, that's cool too. Like, you don't want to be married. I don't know what y'all situation is, but you should focus on that before you look for another man because you're going to cause, I don't know your husband. I don't know if he got a crazy switch. You know, I don't know if he's the kind of man that ain't never been crazy but something like this could make a man crazy. Does he pay all the bills? In your okay, okay. So. <sighs> Ladies. Don't do this shit here. And see, and this is why I just, my partner just sent me something where a girl just broke up with her dude. They were living together. And within five days, she had another dude over there sleeping in the house. The dude come back to the house, see her in the bed with the dude, start beating on her, pull out a gun, shoot the dude, and run out the house. So imagine if she hadn't said she wasn't married and she hooked her up with somebody and they running around, whatever, and then the husband get wind of it. He didn't know he just met. He probably thought she always been doing this and that's why she acting the way she acting and why she wanted a divorce and shoot the dude or her this was wrong in so many ways and her comeback was don't be so mean to me see them feelings don't she was all smiles when she was talking about getting her a date while her husband is in the other fucking room and kids let's, let's add that in there too but you don't think that shit disrespectful you in the other room trying to get a hookup with another man when your husband and kids in the other fucking room? Anybody on here that agree with this shit, something wrong with you. I'm sorry. I want to hear the comments. I, I want y'all to say something. Now, this was long, but I needed it to run long so you'll see the whole thing. But this shit was wrong in so many ways, and I'm glad Kendra G got on her. I know she about to say thing because... Now she probably think, oh, Lord, this girl going to get her ass blasted. And it's going to be my fault because she was on my show. And, and I said, you know, she did this shit on my show. So later on, she kept talking to the girl again and made sure she's safe and say the girl showed her she's safe and all this and giving her reason why they getting divorced. And it don't freaking matter. You haven't gotten there yet. You shouldn't be trying to date somebody else. You should be going to counseling, get your shit together before you step into anything else with a relationship. And this is what we're talking about when some of you ladies get out of a relationship and y'all have all this fucking stuff going on. You don't see counseling. You don't do anything. You jump into another relationship. Now that dude got to deal with all this shit you just went through. This man, she meet a dude. Now this husband coming around wanting to fight and do all this shit. Now this innocent dude got to deal with that. She probably going to have the kids around him. Now he really going crazy. So, 
I don't know, man. This shit about to make me go off so much. Guys, what do y'all think? All right. Uh, hit it up in the comments. Hit it up big time. I know somebody going to be on there and talk about on the girl code and try to protect her, but I don't give a crap. She was wrong. Her ass trifling three times. Kendra got her. And it is what it is. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you dropping in. Hit the like button and that notification because I got another one coming. And comment on this before. And I'm JP with Calm Vibes, man. I am freaking out.